Now that you've heard part one, and this is part two, and I hope that the whole story will be satisfactory to you. Madame Athune School merged with Cookman Institute in 1923, and still she hadn't accomplished what she wanted to be. So she went to Washington, D.C. all by herself. Thinking of Bethune, Cookman College, and all that she had left. But I imagine how this great educator felt after giving counsel and advice beneficial to her race to the late Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Now her religious record you may also search. She never let her civic work interfere with the church. When time to go to church you could always see that she mostly pledged and gave to the AME. Now I think her race as a whole should mourn to respect the battle she fought for us all until Gabriel blows his horn. Now Madame Athune has gone. She's gone to take her rest. We loved her, but God loved her best. Now please don't take this story as just another tale. You just trust in God. Jesus, Jesus will never fail. Heaven and earth shall pass away.